Hello everyone, I'm R9000, this is Kerbal Space Program, and this is the Minimus Analysis Station. So, yep, here I am, uh, also known as Rory, if you don't know me by my uh, internet name, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, Kieran got me this game uh, two weeks, I think, before Christmas, and I've already clocked up about 110 hours on it. <laughs> I'm, uh, I have to say I'm a pretty big fan. So, yeah, this is um, one of a couple of videos I will hopefully be uploading to Lemon Cow. Um, now, I will be starting a series over on my channel. Um, I have three mods currently installed. One of them you can see there. That's a toolbar from Infernal Robotics. So, I've got Infernal Robotics, uh, B9 Aerospace, and Kerbal Attachment System. So, I'll be using those three mods hopefully in a series, and, um, uh, yeah, uh, you should be able to check that out. Now, this station was a bit of a combined effort. I flew the rover over here first, um, on one rocket, and I flew the station over here in another, and then I flew this small kind of refueling slash escape vehicle over with the nuclear engine, so it should be just fine to um, return to Kerbin because um, I'm about finished with this thing. So I'll show you what it does first and then I will uh, explain on the way why I am decommissioning it as it were. So let's rotate this thing. Oh gosh, I didn't realize where the center was. Okay, now slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, that's good. Now let's just check our monopropellant tanks are full. Uh, that's Mr. Igu. Yep, monopropellant RCS seems to be rather good. Now, here we're going to descend onto the planet Minimus. We might end up landing on the dark side, unfortunately. But, uh, dark side landing is uh, quite fun. So, uh, let's give that a try, shall we? Oh yeah, I forgot to switch control um, before we separated. So let's switch to our probe now. Here we are now. Let's turn everything on and hopefully just back away from this thing. So, what we need to do here, um, if you haven't seen that much Kerbal Space Program, we need to get this rover so the orbit will slow right down. Um, now, we do have a rocket engine on this. We have an LV 909, which are ridiculously efficient, but we only have a a rather small fuel tank, so it is a little bit difficult to get back off the planet and into a nice orbit and then rendezvous with the station. Um, before, I did just about manage to do it without any fuel. Um, I kind of floated, I, I ran out of fuel near it, or near-ish, and then I used monopropellant to get the rest of the way. Uh, so that was um, a little bit tough. Uh, but now I think we should be okay because we're nice and full of fuel. So, actually, we might end up not landing on the uh, dark side. Right, so I think, yes, we are rotating that way. Right, L. So, let's add a maneuver here. Not that much. That's ridiculous. So, we need to get a maneuver to just cut our orbit down a bit. So that we kind of slowly descend onto Minimus. So, there's a periapsis disappearing. For those who don't know, periapsis is the lowest point of the orbit. Or, well, in relation to the body. Uh, so that's 402 of periapsis will hit something, obviously, before we actually uh, get to that. So we'll pull up our nav ball here and go to the node. So we haven't got our engine activated. Oh, we, or have we got it activated at the moment? I'm not sure. What is it? I don't think we have. Oh, yeah, we have. Yep. So, this isn't very much, so we'll wait till about 30 seconds before, and probably, um, yeah, we'll, we'll just burn that way. Um, it, it should need about, probably, maybe 10 seconds with this engine, so, it's quite powerful for the maneuver we're actually doing. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, this is going to go down very quickly, so I'm going to wait. Um, of course, we don't have to be exact with any of this. It 
just have to make sure we get the get rid of the delta V and let's have a look. Periapsis of 400. And, no, that's our maneuver. Yep. So periapsis is now inside the planet, so not to worry, or the moon rather. Um, of course, if you don't play Kerbal Space Program, you won't know what I'm on about here. But um, Minimus is one of Kerbin's two moons. There is the moon, or the moon, um, over there, and Kerbin is. Uh, nope, that. Yep, Kerbin is over there, I think. Yep, <laughs> there it is. There's the moon, and there's Minimus. Now, Minimus is in an inclination of about 5. 5.7 degrees, I think, something like that, from the moon's orbit, so from equatorial orbit, which is why it does take a bit more delta V to get to uh, Minimus, a bit more uh, power, a bit more energy, but um, it's qu it's a bit easier because obviously Minimus has a lot less gravity than the moon, and since you can't use parachutes to aerobrake, um, you need to burn less fuel when you're landing. So, we shouldn't have a problem here, we've got loads and loads of fuel. Um, now then, let me just get this solar panel out. I, we do have um, stationary solar panels on here, but we have one on the back. Um, I'm not sure whether it's... no, it's blocked by Minimus. So, we're going to have to be careful because of course we do have a probe core on this. Um, I don't know, we don't have a reaction wheel. So the idea is that this rover um, will go down to the planet's surface, or the moon's surface rather, and hopefully land. I think I probably should have put some smaller landing legs on there. Yep, so it'll land. It will collect data, a small amount of data, not very much. Then it will dock back with the station and our scientists in the science module up there. Gosh, that looks bad. <laughs> They're clipping through the wheels, but they work. Um, the landing legs, that is. Yep. So it'll dock with the station, um, and everything should be fine. Uh, they can analyze the data and hopefully get us a little bit more, probably about five to ten percent more than we would have if we'd have just transmitted the data straight away, which we can do. We do have a little Comitron 16 here. Is it Communitron? Comitron? Communitron, yes. So we do have um, one of those. So we're traveling at some sort of uh, quite quite the speed, I'd say, but we are a way up. So let's just um, move on. Right. So what we want to do here for landing on Minimus, I mean, this isn't going to be a tutorial video of any kind because I'm not really good enough to give one. Um, but we need to start pushing our. Oh, there's our solar panel turning around. Um, oops. Pushing our retrograde up the nav ball. Well, over to the um, the right of the nav ball at the moment, but obviously this is going to kick us backwards because of our weight. Oh. I could turn the RCS on, but I don't really want to waste um, monopropellant. So let's just ease it over to here. There we go. Now, start killing some of that velocity. Yeah, we'll put the RCS on because this is getting a bit ridiculous. And the RCS should help us to um, get rid of some of that recoil. Now, there's a big mountain here. So I'm not sure how, that, how we'll do with that. Really, we want to be landing flat, <laughs> obviously. Um, now these uh, these RCS thrusters here don't do much to rotate because they're on the very ends and they're well they're not like um, placed circumference on on the circumference of a, a thruster or anything or a, a fuel tank so <coughs> they'll just have to do as they are. Now we are still quite a way up so let's move ourselves down. So, we'll turn our landing lights on, or our, well, our lights anyway. <laughs> um, I thankfully did have the foresight to actually put those on. 
Yeah, because we're landing on the dark side, obviously we've got no um, no shadow to tell us where we're going to land. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Let's just push that. Uh, oh, push that retrograde a bit more. Because we are getting quite close now, and we're travelling at a reasonable speed. Yeah, anyway, as I said, because Minimus is a well, obviously smaller mass, you get lower acceleration due to gravity, so you will speed up more slowly uh, than, of course, on Kerbin or on the moon. That, of course, makes landing easier. And, of course, to take off from Minimus, it's a lot easier as well. So, hopefully, if we just kill off this speed... Of course, we can't really rely on the um, on the altimeter here because Minimus is quite lumpy and mountainous, um, and apparently some kind of desert. So we'll have to be a little bit careful. And make sure we don't start moving off one particular way. Now, as I said, we don't want to run out of monopropellant, but we might want to keep it on for when we're landing. So let's see how far we are off the ground. It would be good if we had something to drop and then we could see how far it falls. But, um, let's observe our mystery goo just to check if there's anything different. 9.2 signs, that's not really useful. So yeah, another thing that the, um, the science station up there can do is uh, clean up the experiments, which is a very nice thing to have because it means I can reuse this probe the mystery goo and the, the science junior over here, um, they can't be used um, when uh, after the data has been transmitted unless you take them up and you know you dock them with the science um, the science lab and then the Kerbals in there can clean it of course and you can go back down and do some more. So yeah I've done this a couple of times, Minimus has biomes now so it is a little bit profitable at least we better start slowing ourselves down. So yeah, it's a little bit profitable, um, but not as much as I would like. And I've got a mission to go to Duna orbiting Kerbin at the moment, so that should be interesting. So let's fast forward a bit because we are travelling very slowly. I can see ground scatter down there, so our, our, our altimeter might actually be a little bit right for once because we do appear to be landing in some kind of canyon. So of course we can't warp. Um, yeah, the ground is approaching rather quickly now, so just wait till we get down to the ground. Now. We are using things, well, we have used a bit, quite a bit of fuel, more than I actually would have wanted to here. Um, but we should, we still should be fine to get off the, the moon. So, yeah, this is rather difficult to judge, but our lights should show us the way, hopefully. But sometimes you get glitches where um, the hills kind of cause some kind of bug where they don't reflect the light properly, which is a bit annoying. But uh, we need to judge how far we are up. That ground's approaching pretty fast. Of course, um, there's less force when you hit the ground on Minimus as well. Ah, there are the lights starting to uh, reach the ground. Obviously, the front one is reaching first because it's a longer range beam, takes more energy. Now let's slow ourselves right down. Now you can actually land on Minimus on monopropellant. I did that before. Which is interesting. <laughs> um, and of course another precaution you've got to take is that your rover doesn't flip over because of the low gravity. Um, it's usually worth having it in docking mode uh, when you're actually landing. Oh, sorry, not when you're landing, when you're roving about on the surface because otherwise um, your reaction wheels and things um, make a hash of your driving and flip you over all, all around. 
Although I did have a rover at one point that could just it could just sit itself up on its reaction wheels. You could you could literally just make it flop back over. Unfortunately, that rover rover was a little bit unstable on the moon, and uh, it uh, it went and crashed. So yeah, here we're, we're really close proximity. We should we'd probably be okay. Like it came free fall from here, but there we go. Landed on Minimus. Now let's retract our landing legs and do some science. <laughs>